Hi, this is Jessic, and in this PHP security tutorial, I'm going to be explaining uh, session hijacking and how you can help prevent it causing problems on your site. Um, so, session hijacking is essentially when an attacker is able to take over, if you like, the session of another user. So, say if you logged in as the admin user to, like, I don't know, um, the admin area, like an admin panel of your site, um, and that admin uh, area wasn't sufficiently secured then um, someone else would be able to sort of come in and take over your session and because you are logged in um, that would then allow them to access the admin area which is obviously something you don't want to happen. Um, the way this is generally possible is um, via an XSS attack so say if like a area on your site had a cross-site scripting vulnerability this would allow um, the attacker to inject some JavaScript code which would steal the session ID. So the session ID is what PHP uses to identify which session should be loaded. So on this page we have a very simple just a session start call here and the rest of the page is just a blank HTML sort of template. And if you just go to the page here and load it up and then view the cookies that have loaded from this page you can see that we have this single cookie called PHP ses ID, short for session ID uh, and this string here under content is my session ID that has just been generated for this session. Uh, now if the attacker was able to get this they would be able to set their session ID to this by sending it as a cookie uh, just like I do when I load the page um, as, a, you know, as a legitimate user and then they would be able to access my session variables which is obviously something you don't want to happen because that would contain all kinds of sensitive information and also it would, may allow them access to various sort of areas. Now um, the session ID, sorry, the session cookie is not always available uh, to JavaScript uh, but I think the default setting is to allow it to be um, but you can also you can change that. I will just briefly show you how to do that because that's one measure that you can take that's very very simple um, and it will prevent people actually being able to get the session ID. So to do that what you do is go to the well from the in the code just before the session start line you need to set a php.ini setting now generally these are only configurable uh, via the php.ini file but this one uh, well there are quite a few this one and a few others are also um, configurable using the ini set function the ini set function takes two parameters the first parameter is the setting you want to set and the second parameter is the value so the parameter we want to set, or the setting we want to change, is session dot uh, cookie underscore http only, and we want to set that to true. And what this will do is make sure that the cookie that is sent to the browser by PHP to tell it, you know, what session it should be using, uh, is only accessible. Uh, well, it's not accessible via JavaScript, which means that the attacker will have a bit of a harder time getting the um, session ID for that user. So that's one step you can take to help prevent it and another one is to lock the session to a specific IP address. So the way we can do that is by storing the IP address in the session and then on every page load we just check to see if that IP address is the one you know, in the session. So when the, uh, fashion, <laughs> when the session is first started we can just do we can do a simple check to see if the IP is already in the session by doing if is set session let's just call it last IP and if it isn't set so if it equals false we want to set it so we'll just set it in the sort of standard way so session I can learn to type session last IP equals server remote ADDR, short for address, uh, and this just contains the user's IP address. Uh, another thing that I probably should point out at this point as well, um, if you Google like PHP get user IP or something like that, you may find that uh, people are recommending to um, check first if something called the x underscore forward for or something along those lines is set. Um, and that is set if the user is using a proxy and that just tells you the address of the actual user not the proxy server 
Um, the problem with that is that it's very, very easy to fake because it's actually sent just a standard header and you can manually set those very, very easily. So for something related to security like this, you should only use the remote addr address setting or variable uh, because even if the user is using a proxy server, this will be the IP address of the proxy server, um, which is obviously not ideal, but it still offers some protection unless the attacker then uses the same proxy server. Um, if you just want to display the user's IP address, it's absolutely fine just to use the um, x forward for header. Um, but just as a quick sort of side note, you should always use just this for security related things. So anyway, now that we've verified that the um, session contains the IP address, we can just do a check underneath this to see if the IP address in the session is the same as the remote address that was, the, you know, the, the, the uh, IP that the request actually came from. So we can just do another simple check here. So if uh, session uh, last IP is not, oops, is not equal to the server remote address, uh, don't need two of those, we just want to end the session so we'll just call session unset which will remove all of the session variables and then session destroy which will actually you know sort of get rid of the session entirely uh, I think it's session unset um, I would just well yeah I'm pretty sure it is I'll just professionally check that on my other screen well I think of something else to say yeah session unset okay so um, just by doing this very simple check you can help prevent uh, session hijacking um, there are other steps you can take however this should do basically um, it's similar to the file upload tutorial that was uploaded um, this is effective well it's sort of the bare minimum but it should be more than enough for anything really because this line will prevent people even getting a session ID and this one will make sure that it's not used by other IP addresses so um, yeah that should that should basically do let's just make sure that I haven't made any typos looks like I haven't so that's good so thanks for watching and hopefully this was useful